NVIDIA is about to bring in the future. You probably know the company for their awesome graphics cards and crazy chip tech, but that's not the only thing they're known for. These guys also lead the AI space, and they're making moves. Their latest project is called ACE, and it's a set of cutting-edge tools that are going to revolutionize chatbot AI forever. Here's what you need to know. Firstly, it's a pretty big step forward for the technology. Virtual assistants are pretty commonplace these days. Digital attendants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant are pretty much everywhere at this point, and the majority of tech users have access to their services. The space has developed pretty rapidly, and it's already a focus for some of the biggest players in the industry. The thing is, this AI software has been limited to vocal interfacing up until now. We've never seen what Siri looks like because that's just never been a requirement. With the metaverse, that's about to change. That's because Web 3.0 is changing how we look at the internet and the very concept of software-hardware integration. The future of tech lies in the world of virtual reality. That's obviously the push Facebook has been making with their whole rebrand, and other companies are following their lead. They're going to need some crazy new tools to bring the metaverse to life, and that's where NVIDIA comes in. The talented developers over there have built their own chatbot AI tools, and it's unlike anything we've seen before from them. Now, the next step on the way to creating lifelike AI is giving them avatars. In the metaverse, users are going to need to be able to talk to chatbots like they're real people. That's the whole point of making a virtual space where anything is possible, and it's what NVIDIA is developing with their latest project. That's right, they're creating software that'll give chatbots animated faces, and if it works out, this might be the tech that we use to customize our own appearances in the metaverse. So let's talk about what their latest project is supposed to be. On August 9th, NVIDIA announced its new Avatar Cloud Engine, or ACE for short. This thing is a developer tool that can be used to make interactive 3D models that act a lot like humans. The company hopes these AI bots will be how people and computers communicate in the virtual sphere. Pretty insane, huh? Now, the concept of an AI with a face might sound a bit threatening at first, but don't worry, NVIDIA isn't Skynet. They're designing these tools to make it easier for devs to work on metaverse projects. This new project is actually a result of the company's experience with 3D graphics and AI technology. They're basically putting all their expertise together for ACE. Now, they announced the H100 Hopper processor a few months ago, which allows devs to build more advanced AI models. They're following that up with their latest project, and trust us when we say it's going to be the next big thing. NVIDIA says that the super-realistic characters made with this toolset are going to change human-computer interaction forever, and we believe them. That's because it'll be much more real assuring to see a human face the first time you enter the metaverse. Sure, it's not going to be actually human, but NVIDIA's been doing their best to leave the uncanny valley. Ace makes AI look more natural than ever, and it's all thanks to the new tech. Software called Audio to Face enables avatars to match their expressions to the words they say, while the Audio to Emotion developer tool allows them to base their appearance on the feelings behind their words. What's more, the senior director of avatar technology at NVIDIA, Simon Ewan, says the faces are super realistic. The models you make in Ace actually have a 3 3D framework behind them, complete with a skeleton and muscles. That's pretty crazy. And get this, the corporation's VP of simulation tech, Rev Leverdian, says that making an AI indistinguishable from a regular human will soon be possible. According to the VP, they want to pass the Turing test with one of ACE's models. And as it turns out, NVIDIA is super invested in the metaverse. That's honestly a relief to hear, since the new tech isn't that well known yet. As of right now, only 23% of adults in the US know what the metaverse is, and that number's obviously way lower in the rest of the world. It's totally possible that the whole thing just ends up being a fad. That's why projects like ACE are so important. They're signaling genuine progress towards full virtual living, and that's because online avatars will be an essential part of the future. They're actually going to help us get tons of work done. According to NVIDIA's chief executive, the company's vision for ACE is to make high-tech chatbots that'll populate the metaverse. He says the avatars will be the brand ambassadors, customer service agents, service staff, and insurance managers of the virtual world. They'll help users create and build structures in their online spaces, and basically be the NPCs of the Metasphere. What's more, the tech giant really needs this project to succeed. They've actually got a lot riding on it. If the metaverse takes off, it'll open up a whole new 3D graphics market for NVIDIA to conquer. Right now, they've had to cut profits because of the US's economic troubles. People aren't buying a lot of video game hardware, and the company's AI chips aren't doing too hot either. That's why they're bringing their attention to chatbot tech, and their messaging has been pushing those ideas hard. Huang claims it's the next step in the evolution of the internet, and his corporation definitely wants that to be the case. Ace. Only time will tell if they're right, though. The tools that Ace has made possible are cool and all, but it's still a tricky process to develop things for the metaverse. Developers don't have a standard like HTML to follow. NVIDIA's trying to solve that by expanding on a format called Universal Scene Description. They've got some big names backing them up, including Apple, Adobe, and BMW.
BMW. Believe it or not, the company that originally came up with USD is Pixar. That's right, we're talking about Disney's animation studio. So USD will hopefully let everyone create complex 3D worlds for Web 3.0, and then developers will be able to populate their spaces with ace-enabled AI. That's what NVIDIA's after, and it's a pretty cool vision. Let's hope they can deliver on it and help take the world into the future. With Ace covered, here's some other news about the company's plans. Firstly, they just revealed financial results for the second quarter of the fiscal year. The company announced a preliminary second quarter revenue of $6.7 billion versus an outlook of $8.10 billion. Now, $6.7 billion is still a pretty good toll, but it's never a good sign when a business falls short of expectations. Believe it or not, the tech giant missed out on about $1.4 billion, and that's pretty worrying. As we mentioned earlier, it's probably because people aren't buying as much gaming hardware. That means NVIDIA is going to need to look for other revenue sources. But even though this sounds like a major loss, Colette Kress, EVP and CFO, says that the company's long-term profit profile is still on schedule. They're going to meet their long-term goals if they can keep expenditure under control, and that's definitely good news for their employees. That said, NVIDIA's workers will also be getting raises. Normally, companies resort to cutting salaries and laying off their workforce when they're down on profit. Fortunately, that's not the case at NVIDIA. What's more, CEO Jensen Huang has actually announced some pretty encouraging news. He made some surprising promises in a leaked company email addressing all staff members. He says there won't be any layoffs in the immediate future, and that all employees will be getting raises to deal with the super high inflation rates. He also informed everyone that NVIDIA will be looking into eliminating inefficient workflows and processes in order to keep its operations running smoothly. That's apparently how they're trying to mitigate the losses, and we're glad they're keeping the well-being of their employees in mind. And finally, an NVIDIA GPU just got a big price cut. If you're in the US and you need a new graphics card, we've got great news. The price of the RTX 3090 Ti just went down by a staggering $1,000. That's a pretty steep drop, and it's surprising tons of NVIDIA fans. A Twitter account by the name of Frame Chasers shared a screenshot of the FTW3 gaming model with a retail price of $1,150. That's pretty shocking since that unit has a recommended selling price of $2,150. That's a crazy price for a bundle that includes the 3080. You can check this deal out at the official EVGA site if you're interested. Now, we think this is because of the fall in demand for hardware, but it could be due to the next-gen line of GPUs being ready to come out. The RTX 4090 is on the horizon, so that might be why the 3080 is dropping to a thousand bucks. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of the ACE project? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.